Today I will talk about transient and benign rashes in newborn baby. Now this is a structure of normal skin. The upper layer is the epidermis, then lower down is the dermis, hypodermis and subcutaneous tissue. An important rash in newborn babies is erythema toxicum. Erythema toxicum occur in about 50% of full term and prematures are rarely affected. Now it occur in all races and male and female infants are equally affected. It can present at birth but it usually appears within first 48 hours of life up to 2 weeks of age. Now clinically these are barely elevated firm yellowish white 1 to 2 mm papules or pustules and they are surrounded by irregular erythematous flare of about 1 to 3 cm. Now these lesions may be sparse or numerous. They are either clustered in several sites or widely dispersed. At time only splotchy erythema is present. Now these lesions first appear on face then trunk and extremities but they may be present anywhere on the body. However palms and sole they are usually spared. Now these lesions wax and wane usually lasting a week or less. Erythema toxicum is associated with first pregnancy, summer or autumn season, milk powder feeding, prolonged labor or vaginal delivery. Now histologically in these lesions eosinophils are present and the cultures are usually sterile. Now the patient is usually asymptomatic and these lesions resolve spontaneously in several days so no therapy is required. Differential diagnoses include transient neonatal pustular melanosis, miliaria, infantile acropustulosis, and eosinophilic pustular folliculitis.